Hey everybody, it's me here again, Volt Jolt 112 back for the summer, bringing you all sorts of new stuff. That is if I had any ideas. Of course, that's why I decided to go to the mall today, you know, get a little shopping in, find something new and interesting to keep myself busy. So that's why I picked up a copy of one of my favorite things, probably I've ever done or played or anything otherwise. Um, I just got the all new uh, Infamous 2, the Hero Edition, actually, and I just thought some of the stuff was really cool and I thought I'd share it with you guys, okay? So I'm gonna take a look here. Here you have the, probably the signature thing of the package, uh, the replica sling pack that it comes with. I gotta say, most people would have thought that this is a cheap type of thing, but as this is a T-rated game and not just some random old game made by some stupid company you've never heard of that comes with a cheap piece of, I don't know, canvas. Well, it's really nice. It's pretty much a perfect example of the game's backpack that he carries around with him, or the sling pack. I mean, to be honest, you know it's a good replica when it even shows the Easter egg of the Sly Cooper emblem right there. I never really cared for it, I mean, let alone played it, but whatever. Looks cool. And down here you can see where it has the the logo for the game and the Sony PlayStation logo. It's got all sorts of neat stuff. If you open this spot right here, where the top part of the amp goes in the game, there's a small pouch built for, I don't know, small electronics, wallets, I don't know, that's what I did. Uh, so just buckle this back up. And this part up here opens, and there's a zipper down there. The description of the bag actually said it was large enough to fit a tabloid computer. I'm sure it is, and I gotta say, this thing is pretty sturdy. The one thing that really stands out, though, is this cell phone pouch right here. I was really surprised to see it, but this is kind of flimsy, and it slides around a bit. But other than that, it's really imp impressive. I mean, I wore this thing around with me all day, believe it or not. Not a single person commented, let alone stared. Another cool thing that it comes with that a lot of people noticed was this 8.5 inch uh, coal statue from the game. I thought it was really detailed and not just some pe cheap piece of plastic like action figure or whatever. This thing, when they say statue, they really weren't kidding. You see, look at, look at how much detail and color they put into his back. Sorry, it's a little blurry, but He's got all these tattoos. I mean, you never really noticed this in the first game. The coloring is just absolutely perfect. I mean, and he's even got he's even got like um, scratched up fingers and a, I think a bandage around most of them, and they're all spread out. And not only that, he actually comes with this podium right here, that looks like some building from New Mirai. So if you can just set that on there, kind of hard. I have this on the my bed spread, but as you can see he sits in there pretty well and he'd look great on top of a TV or shelf or anything like that. This is a really good gift for someone who enjoys these type of games. Um, I know I really liked it, been waiting a while for this, two weeks and a day. Hard to find, I gotta tell you. Um, we looked for it at GameStop and the video game capital of the world as they say, Atumwa, Iowa, and they didn't have it. Go to Walmart, Target, look it up online. It's unavailable a lot of places, but go figure. We head on to Best Buy, and they got eight freaking copies of it. Um, this thing right here, this is another thing it comes with. It's the DC Infamous mini comic. For a mini comic, actually, um, it's actually kind of a... Basically what it is, it's a transaction between the first and the second games. And it gives a little more of a brief description between what happened exactly before you head from Empire City to New Mirai. But it's a quick read, and it's a little small. It actually fits in my pocket, but it's, it's worth your time if you're someone who enjoys this. And uh, if you look on the back, it, it actually hints this new thing called Infamous Anarchy. It says, play the new infamous social game on Facebook. Build... It says, build your own city, customize your avatar, and crush your enemies. I'll have to check that out. Um, and of course, you got your super voucher here. It comes with all the pre-order objects that you could have gotten if you pre-ordered a game, even though you can just buy them with it. I would turn it over, but um, if 
you had like something that could see through the little gray film that covers the code, then I guess I'd be pretty much screwed if I tried to redeem it afterwards. And of course, the big whopper king of stuff in this whole box, you got the infamous 2 game. The thing we've been waiting for from Game Informer. Just don't like how they release stuff a year before it actually comes out. Gets me pretty amped. And here's the first one, if you haven't seen it either. Uh, when PlayStation Network went down, I actually didn't download that. As you can see, I actually got it around Christmas time with my money. Well, everybody, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Got new videos coming soon. It's got summer three months off, you know. I'm sure I'll figure something out. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful summer, peeps. Out.